Hey guys, what's happening? Niat here with Film Comics Explained. I've been pretty excited about the new trailer for Shane Black's The Predator, and with the upcoming release of the film, I'm gonna do my best to go through all aspects of the Predators in numerous videos going through their culture, technology, and relationships with other species as featured in the expanded universe. As mentioned in my other video about the Predators, the Yachu were known for their hunting of dangerous game for sport and honor in a process that was considered sacred. This hunt was also in essence the backbone of the Yatra society and the means by which individuals proved their worth. The hunt would typically involve a single predator, or even a group, traveling to a remote location to track and kill dangerous prey, from which a trophy or trophies would then be collected. Though the majority of the hunts were relatively small, there have been occasions where entire clans have engaged in large-scale hunts and battles, typically against more capable enemies. The hunts would exclusively target dangerous organisms that offered the Yachua a significant challenge, ranging from strength, intelligence, technological prowess, to even a combination of all three. It's because of this that their preferred victims included humans and xenomorphs, which the Yachua deemed to be the ultimate prey. It's also for this reason that young-blooded predators who had just received their basic training regimen would be tasked with killing a xenomorph to mark their passage from adolescence into adulthood. In the expanded universe, which I've extensively covered on this channel and will leave links to below, the Predators were also known to have a grudge against the Engineers, with one of my favourite hunters named Ahab travelling across the galaxy over hundreds of years in search of an Engineer that he could kill. Due to the fact that the hunts were a measure of their worth, the Yachu would travel great distances to find worthy opponents, often drawn in by intense heat and conflict. This was seen in the first two Predator films with a hunter that stalked an elite special ops team in the jungles of Valverde and another Yachua that came to the streets of LA during a major heat wave and turf war between rival gangs. After making a successful kill, the hunters would mutilate the corpse and rip out a trophy only from those that it considered worthy opponents. These trophies would then be displayed on board the Yachua ship's trophy room and were even worn by some of the hunters if the size permitted this. Despite the ferocity and brutality with which the Predators would hunt and kill their prey, the majority of them adhered to a code of honour that dictated who and how they were permitted to kill. Because their whole culture was based around the hunt, this doctrine ended up defining their day-to-day -day life. As the highest law of their kind, the honour code was also taken with the utmost seriousness, and even talk of breaking it was severely frowned upon. To break the code is to stop being a true Yachua, and such digressions typically resulted in either the execution of the culprit or imprisonment and eventual banishment under the title of Bad Blood. Hunting Worthy Game When hunting, the Yachua must be sure that their prey is considered worthy game, in that they can defend themselves, are capable of killing the hunter, are of the right age, as killing the young and elderly was shameful, and that they were not linked to the life of another. For example, a predator is not allowed to hunt a creature that is about to give birth to its young, or is in the process of taking care of its young. It's for the same reason that killing injured or sick prey is also considered dishonorable. Failing in the hunt. Should the hunter fail in their quest, they are expected to take their own life, allowing them to die in honor rather than to live in shame. Claiming the kill of another hunter. To take the trophy of another Yachua, living or dead, is considered to be a great insult to the code, and if discovered, the crime would be paid for with abandonment by the clan, who would mutineer the hunter on that world with no weapons or armor. Wounded Game If prey that has been injured by another hunter is discovered, you must show honor by killing the beast, and if the game still shows sport once it's taken care of, the kill will be considered a joint trophy for both hunters. Murder of another hunter to kill another Yachua intentionally without cause is considered to be the worst crime in the eyes of every clan and was often met with the immediate execution of the perpetrator. In saying that, killing a foe during a fight to settle a dispute or in self-defense was considered fair game. Joining another hunt. You must not join another's hunt or even enter their hunting territory without permission. All trophies that are taken in this manner are considered stolen trophies, and the original hunter has the right to deal with these lapses and decorum however they see fit. Mercy If a hunter of another species defeats a Yachu of your clan, they are to be considered equals and must be supplied with a gift to honour their achievement. Foreign Clan Members if a hunter of another species joins a Yachua on a hunt and is given the mark of their clan, they must be viewed not only as equals, but also as new members of that clan. 
There are a few awesome examples of human predators like Machiko, who became blooded and went on to join the predators, which I'll cover down the track. Cloaking during a hunt. While using the cloak during a hunt is permitted, if the hunter engages in a duel, the cloak must be disabled, along with their plasma caster. Code breakers. Those who break any of the rules that make up the honor code are to be considered renegades, punished by either banishment or death, depending on the severity of their crimes. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks to all of you guys who requested we take a look at the Yachua Honor Code, featured in the Predator Expanded Universe. If there's any other stuff you'd like me to check out, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. It's right there. It's right there. God damn it, where is he? Oh, give me a coordinate. Where is he? <laughs>